Hello everybody, so today we're going to be talking about how to improve your paper airplane. So, the first thing is, so if you see your wings and they're flat or they're not like this, like slightly tilted upwards, then they're not going to fly that well. And that is because if they're just flat, let's say that they're flat, right? Now there's no, like, if you look at the wing, now there's no, like, airflow. I mean, there's airflow going through, but, like, there's nothing to support the plane because it's obviously, like, the wing is slicing you. It's not getting lift like it would here because, like, it's getting lift like this. But then when it goes like this, then there's no lift from one wing. There's only a very little bit of lift from the other wing. So I recommend slightly tilting the wings up. So that now when the plane tilts, there's still a supporting wing. That supports the whole plane. And then that can tilt back over. And then the same thing happens with the right side and then the left, and then the right. So that is really important to have your wings slightly tilted up like that. So number two is you should have a little elevator. So an elevator is a small curl on paper airplanes that looks a little bit like that. If you can see that, all it is is a little curl. And then do the same thing on the other side of the wing. That'll really help because what it does is um, when the plane is flying, the air will hit that, causing it, causing the plane, the back of the plane to point down and the front of the plane to go up. So that's one thing. So that's going to help it just fly. So, and you don't want to put too much curl into it. Because if you do that, this is just going to happen. And you don't want that. So just a little curl. In some planes, you can do this. Like just a small little thing like that. That'll also help because the arrow hit that. So you can do that as well on some planes. And so, yeah. There's that one. And one more thing that you should do is maybe not on all planes, but I would recommend it on a few planes. So that is, if you have your wings flat like this, you have your tail fin, I would recommend just keep folding that back and forth like this. Just keep doing that. And what we're going to do is here uh, we're going to create a vertical stabilizer which will help the airflow go straight instead of tilting to the side so well not the airflow the whole plane so i'll show you what i mean after we finish folding it so just keep folding this repeatedly back and forth back and forth and do it back and forth like quite a bit because then that creates like a weakness here so then what you can do is uh, you can just slightly open up the middle of the plane, slowly push that part out, and then you can just invert that, that part until there, and then like that, just slowly squeeze it together, and it should go together just like that. And then you have your vertical stabilizer. So what this will do is it will stop the wind from going just like if this wasn't here and it was all flat, then the wind would go like this and all around, which would cause the plane to turn a lot. And then you would lose distance. But what this does is it'll keep the airflow straight. So it won't turn and move as much. 
So if this is just not here like that, then it'll move a lot because there's nothing stopping the air from like, there's nothing that's like holding the air into, you know what I mean. So if you just keep it like that, that'll help quite a bit. And on some planes, it doesn't really help, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but it will help quite a bit. So, yeah. That's one more thing. And if your plane isn't flying at all, like, this is what's happening. It's just literally barrel, barrel rolling in the air. Then what you should try to do is you should try to increase the weight in the front of the plane. Because then what happens, it, that, that'll be like a glider, so if that if you have to do that, then you should have the wings pretty big, like pretty fanned out. Like I do here. So, you can see that the heaviest part of the plane is actually the front. You can see here. And that is because, if the heaviest part of the plane is the back, then what'll happen is this. And it'll hit the floor, because there's not enough weight in the front which is the part which has to go down first. Like, it's called common sense. So, you should do that with the whole front of the plane, really. So, you'll have this. The wings should be like this. And on a lot of planes, you'll see this pattern. So, you'll see this pattern on a lot of planes. So, you'll see it on many planes, as I said. So, don't try to keep all the weights up here. Try to keep it down here. That'll help a lot in, like, just the stabilization. So, that's one thing uh, which you should really do. Keep the thing, like, keep the, the heaviest part of the plane in the front. Otherwise, your plane won't fly at all. This is this is literally what it'll do. But since the heaviest part of the plane is in the front, it flies pretty well. So that is how you can improve your plane if it's not flying that well. And one more thing I wanted to mention is, if your plane isn't flying that well, like if it's just turning like this, then what you should do is, so if it's turning, like if it's doing this, just repeatedly, remember when I mentioned elevator? So that's what we're going to do here. So if it's spinning this way, what you want to do is you want to increase the elevator here on this side, because that'll balance it out, because that'll elevate this side like this. And then that'll balance it right in the sweet spot. So you might have to do some testing and fiddling around with it, but in the end, it should fly pretty well. So that's a few ways to improve your plane. And um, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And remember, watch it, fold it, fly it. Bye.